Hey guys, welcome to JTech WP. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make audio leveling super easy using a plugin called Alex Audio Butler. And what it does is it does voice leveling, it will level out your music, it will do like audio ducking, so when you're talking, the music level will drop, and when you've got sound effects on, it'll make sure they're not too loud. Alex Audio Butler is literally drag and drop, select the options that you want, and then it applies it to your soundtrack. And once you've finished, you can go to the mastering and tell it what you want to use it for whether you want to use it online for YouTube or if you're using it broadcast or something else. I believe in being totally open and honest, Alex Audio Butler did send me the plugin for free, so I am reviewing it and giving it a full test. I've opened a pretty typical project for me. I've got my video, I've got my voiceover, I've got my sound effects, so whenever things are happening on screen, I've got a bit of ambience there, and then we've got our music layer right at the bottom. This is completely unedited, so the audio is literally being dragged straight onto the timeline with no corrections or no adjustment whatsoever, so it's going to be pretty freaking loud. Check out IntriResolveTitles.com, where we've got lots of title packs with the Vintage. Alright, so we can hear there's effects coming in, there's music, everything's really crazy loud. If I was doing this manually, the way I'd do it is I'd drop my music level, so I'd click on the music, go to my audio inspector, maybe drop that to like minus 30. And then my effects, I maybe try each of those at minus 20, just to get a rough sort of uh, feel for it. So now it should be quite a bit quieter with the music. Check out DaVinciResolveTitles.com, where we've got lots of title packs for DaVinci Resolve, and you can also get a free sample pack with titles and transitions. So we can see straight away that's quite a bit better, but that's with manual. But if I wanted to do audio ducking, I'm going to have to go into the music, add keyframes, where it gets sort of quieter in this gap here. I'd have to add the keyframes in, make it a bit louder, and all this takes time. So this is a really simple project. I'm going to reset everything back to normal. So everything's on full volume. And check this out. What we need to do is go into our toolbox. So you can open up uh, the effects panel here, if it's not open. And then we go to VST effects. And then what we want to do is look for the Alex Audio Butlers in the left here. So what I do is I drag my voice onto the voice track. And basically what it does is it gives you a box. So you can tell it if you run a constant source. So if you had one microphone like I'm using right now, I'd set it to constant source. And compression general is usually pretty good. And the beautiful thing about Alex Audio Butler is to find out what something actually does, hover your mouse over it like natural. So it says very light compression. And if I go to max, it tells us very strong compression, making it very loud but can sound harsh. So it gives you a little explanation about what each one does. So that's our voice one added. What I'm going to do now is look for sound effects and drag that onto our sound effects layer. Again, it says how loud you want the target volume. I'm going to go with soft because I don't want it too in your face. And then last of all, we've got music. So I'm just going to drag our music onto our music one. And again, target volume. I'm going to go for fairly soft. Now, this is where it gets really cool. We can see there we've got updated, so it's analysed it, and it should, in theory, when I hit play, be perfectly levelled. Check out DaVinciResolveTitles.com, where we've got lots of title packs for DaVinci Resolve, and you can also get a free sample pack with titles and transitions. And come and join the DaVinci Resolve Facebook group, where we have the first section was a little bit loud. All I'm going to do to fix that is just add a little fade in here. So fade in our sound effects and fade in our music. And that should sort out the big booming sound we had at the start. Check out DaVinci Resolve title. Way better. So you can see just how dragging these plugins in can save you a lot of time. And it does everything for you automatically. I'm going to jump into Fairlight really quickly. Just going to click on the little squiggly symbol here for automation. And then go to our bus. Expand this. And then I'm just going to go to our loudness history. When I play this, it should show us what our luff level is for YouTube. Check out DaVinciResolveTitles.com, where we've got lots of title packs for DaVinci Resolve. And you can also get a free sample pack with titles. And here, what we're looking for is making sure that this line isn't going above 0 dB. So what Alex has done is it's brought it up to the absolute maximum level for YouTube. Anything over this would be too much, and YouTube would compress it. For all my videos, I tend to go into the settings, go to Fairlight, and make sure that my target loudness level is set to minus 14 LUFs, because that's what they recommend for YouTube. And then that way, you shouldn't go over the limit and you won't get compressed and your audio will sound exactly like it does on your video edit. One final step that we need to do is over on the right here is add a plugin. 
go to Tools, VST, and then we want Alex Master Audio Butler. This is going to tell Alex how we're going to use our final output video. So I'm going to use general compression and it's going to go online. So for platforms like YouTube, Vimeo and Facebook and the other social media platforms. So that'll be the one we're going to choose. It also has one for broadcast. An archive is kind of for e-learning and podcasts. We're going to go with online. Once you've chosen your settings, Alex recommend going to the delivery tab. Then we go to our delivery tab. I'm going to go to custom. And then I'm going to uncheck export video because all we want is the audio only. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as untitled for now. And then we're going to go add to render queue. And we're just going to press render all. Keep an eye out up here. Alex Butler is going to analyze it. All right, so it was exported in two seconds. So what's what just happened there was when I exported it, it told Alex Butler to level it for YouTube. So it was doing its clever analysis up here and tweaking it. So when you go for the proper export, it should sound absolutely perfect. So I'll go to our 4K export here for YouTube. So this is the final exported version on here. We can see it's just a fraction over. So if you do get that, it's not a big issue. What I found works really well is just turn the bus down a couple of uh, decibels. So maybe try about sort of minus 18-ish and that should get it just under the zero dB level. Having used Alex Audio Butler for several projects now, I found that I don't really need to use the mastering one because it does such a good job without it that I don't really need it. And if I'm going to bring the final audio levels under zero dB, all I do is I just move the faders down on the bus and get it to where I'm happy with it. And that's all I do. Overall, Alex Audio Butler is a fantastic plugin. It does make audio editing super easy and also really quick. If you do lots of video editing, I highly recommend you get this because it's just going to save you time and speed up your workflow, which is always a bonus. Before you go, guys, I've got a free title pack for you from DaVinciResolveTitles.com. And also check out our DaVinci Resolve Facebook group where I post lots of how-to videos and you can ask me any questions about DaVinci Resolve and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Well, that's it for me, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe. If you didn't like the video, smash that dislike twice and I'll see you on the next one.